Gatekeeper Amps, adding fuel to your signals, amplifying your reach. Alright, Mr. O.J. Keeper here, and Mr. Jack, a little bit of dog sitting today, uh, not, not nothing too big, we got a little small order, a little uh, hold me over order, what I like to call, I, I slipped this order in right before uh, uh, China went on their New Year's holiday, uh, their New Year holiday goes by the uh, lunar calendar. It's really unique. You got to look into it. It's pretty cool. So I got this in literally the day before the lunar, uh, the, the Chinese New Year. And they'll be uh, opening back up for business here in a few days. So I basically got this to kind of hold me over to that point. So uh, let's see what we got going on here. Nothing too fancy today. Just using the old overhead camera there. Shout out to Jeff Robodine. Transistor sales slow down the last couple of days, I noticed. That, that happens. Sales will slow down, which gives me more time to work on the bench and stuff. Which I ain't complaining. And then it'll just pick back up and go crazy. Yeah, this is sitting in a little different box than normal. Just a couple of transistors that tied me over. Looks like I sliced and dodged that up pretty good. Alright, let's see what we got here. Now, a lot of y'all may not know this, but to keep things simple and not confuse people so much and ask them questions all the time, back when I first contacted HG now over what? I had to go back and look. It was a long time ago. I need to go look so I can actually give actual real uh, years and everything. We start, we, we had everything figured out in 2016. That's why you see that the uh, current HG, HGs has a 16, DO8, that 16 stands for 2016. But we were doing testing a couple years before that. Let's see what's that 16. It's about eight years. So a little, about a year or two before that, we were doing all the testing and everything. And then when me and Danny had the idea of the 2879C six chip component, our first established transistor at that point was a 17 D08. I've got some pictures of it. I'll show sometimes. Sometime uh, the first 2879C was a 16 D08. But to keep everything simple, just kept them at 16 D08. Okay. Each year. But over in China, the transistors actually change every year. So it's been 16, 17, 18 D08, 19 D08. There may be a year or so that was actually skipped because they didn't sell all of the uh, wafers. But they're currently on the 24 D08s. But on the Cs, on the other hand, ne needed to really track the, the, the status of the Cs. So with them, we, we have changed the the lock code of them to better yet keep the status because those took a lot more work uh getting them all worked out at first honestly at first me and oh big d one two three we thought that the seeds were going to be of no use of building anything uh bigger than a four pill that's we thought that's it's all we're going to build to build because Every time we try to build an amp bigger than that, they're popping like popcorn. And uh, it took about a year to a year and a half after that point, they finally figured out what the problem was and fixed it. So then that we could build 
in multiples of fours or whatever, you know, but b- bigger amps, which was awesome. Oh my goodness. I had completely gave up on the project, honestly. But, uh, so basically I'm saying all that to say this, we're on a new wafer. I'm going to make a video later explaining the wafer ID to everyone. Everyone that's interested and explain how the, the wafer IDs, how they're established, what they mean, etc. The wafer ID on every part is going to be different. As you see, this is a 2879. All right, you see 404 C, 088 404 C2. If you come over here to the 2879C, one five nine zero two four e six. All right, but if you come over here and look at the 454, what do you see? One five nine zero two four e six. Two different transistors, but made with the same wafer. Okay. So I'm going to uh, get into that and explaining. Because, you know, there's the lot. There's the lot. This right here will be going up to 24 soon. But basically, we are on a new wafer for some of the transistors. Um, we're actually on a new wafer on the C's. What does that mean? What that mean is the tune and it can fluctuate a little bit. The tune from HGs have fluctuated since the beginning. I can remember the very first two pills I was testing. The output tuning cap, the shunt cap, output tuning shunt cap, however you want to call it, was up around 180, 190, 200. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the four pills were 160. And I actually went and bought like 400 160 caps. Spent a lot of money. Didn't get to use hardly none of them <laughs> before it changed again. And the tunes have changed dramatically over the year. Like the very first inputs of a four pill section was like around 220 on the input shunt cap for the input splitter. And it's changed dramatically. It's actually went down in capacitance. So all you builders out there, I mean, you'll notice it as soon as you use them. Time to do some retuning. Okay. To find, find the new tune that works for you. And rock and roll with it. All right. All that talking. What are we looking at? What are we looking like on the on the scope here? This 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 is nothing big. It's just uh, I think I did sixty of each. Yeah, sixty C's, sixty standards. This is just like I said, a little quick package to get me through till I can order again. And I really wish I'd order fourteen forty six because y'all have been buying fourteen forty sixes like crazy, and that was the transistor that was bought the least. So y'all have been buying that like crazy. So everything looks good, man. Good to go. Yes, sir. So if you need any transistors, shoot me a text. It looks like what I'm going to have to do with my website is I'm going to have to do two separate websites. I'm having a problem right now figuring I don't want to hire a freelancer. I don't want to have to hire a freelancer and spend all that extra money. Um, cause I'm, I'm, I'm going to need a portal for everybody that's ordered so, so far. Cause I've promised y'all you're going to be locked in at those prices and I'm going to stick, I'm going to stay with that. I'm going to stick that promise out and stay with it. But it's very hard with the current uh, commerce engine that I'm using to have that set up to where both people and regular retail people can buy at the same place. You can do promo codes and all that, but 
it's not going to work because the promo code's for the whole shopping cart instead of individual item. Um, and I don't want to have to make people be stuck at buying one transistor a piece. So I think, like I said, what I'm going to do is just do a separate portal, separate website just for the VIP customers and uh, be password protected and all that type of stuff and set it up to where no bad actors can just give their login to someone else and let someone else buy at those prices that didn't order before the date, you know? So I'm going to have some security set up so that won't be happening because, because basically I want all of y'all, everybody that's purchased from me before, before I launch that site, I want every one of y'all to be my VIP customers. You're going to be getting transistors at a better price forever, forever. Get in while you can, y'all. If you ain't ordered yet and been thinking about ordering, get locked in. Also, I haven't uh, put this out there a whole lot, but I have used Toshiba's. This is a side market I've been working on building up. Because there are a lot of people out there that need Toshiba's, you know. Somebody has a four pill and one Toshiba's blowing out on them, you know. And they kind of want to stay using Toshiba's, but... You got people out there trying to gouge you, selling uh, to use Toshiba's for $100 a piece, $80 a piece, $120 a piece. That ain't going to happen here. I ain't got to double my profit. As long as I make a little bit, I'm okay. I have no overhead here. Use Toshiba's. Start off. At $50. And y'all know how much I'm paying for them. Because watch my videos of me trading. Uh, Tosh uh, use Toshiba's for HGs. Which I'm kind of having to hold up right now. Because I'm getting a little bit too many Toshiba's. And they're not being sold. So I can't just keep taking them in. Keep taking them in. I need to get rid of some of them. <laughs> but uh, this is starting off. The only way that it's going to go up in price is for the ones that are very high in HFE, which means used Toshibas that barely have any use on them. Right? They have not been abused. They've been used very, very, very rarely. When you got a used Toshiba that's got a HFE close to the way it was when it was brand new, that means it just hasn't been used much. So the higher the HFE, higher the price. But I will not go any higher than 60. I will not. Use Toshiba's. I have some used 2290s also. And all you radio fans, oh, don't forget, I got finals. 2166s, 20, uh, 2312s, and 1969s. That's upside down. But you know. <laughs> I got a hundred of each in stock. 1969. Still got a couple of metal 1000s left, matched. Not many. It's about time to put in another order. Like, for example, this bag right here, every one of these caps are the same exact value, 1000s. Got a bag of two right here for a four pill. Another two right there for a four pill. Another two right here for a four pill. And a three, which would be a six pill. And of course, I've got these absolutely beautiful, old school, 150 picofarad output loading capacitors for your four pill sections. You put one of these bad boys on, you will never have to worry about this cat felony. These bad boys are, are tough. You know how they say some of the older things in life were made and made right. They don't make them like they used to. This is one of them caps. This is an N1500 4KW150. I got them completely matched. So when you get them from me, they're going to be the same value. I've also got other 150s. I got the blue ones that everybody likes to use. Uh, the Maratos. I'm very, very stocked up on the Maratos. Those are 6KV. They're smaller caps, but they work very well. 
And that's about it for this video. I'm catching up. Catching up, catching up, catching up. I'm out there working on a 2x8 right now. And after the 2x8, I will be starting a 10 pill uh, for a gentleman that's uh, been giving me quite a bit of trouble. Which is kind of kind of weird because I he was giving me some trouble back. I can't remember how long ago it was, but we spoke on the phone and he calmed down and I explained the situation to him and you know I was also having some health issues at that point too, but not as bad as I've had since then. And uh, uh, he told me he'll wait till his turn, you know, because I was with how upset he was. I was like, I'll just go ahead and get you done, bud. I mean. Some of these guys, they've been waiting this long, you know. I'm sure they won't mind if I put you in front of them. But he's like, no, don't do that. He's like, just I'll wait my turn. Well, that's what's been going on. But I don't know what's happened recently that got them, got them riled up. I don't know. Some of y'all may have seen him on the comments. Like I say, I don't know what's going on in people's lives. That's why I don't try to just burst back and get upset with people. I try to be as humble as I can. Uh, let that little bit of God I got in me shine outwards if I can. And and, and just be nice as possible because the guy's been waiting a while. I mean, he he's really can act however he wants to act. But the thing about it is his, his, his bill was coming up next anyway. <laughs> so he kind of picked a bad time to be doing that. But... Um, but I'm sure all will be well once he sees me starting that. So, but anyway, so that 10 pill after that. And then uh, after that, I believe we have a 2 by 8 base, I believe. And then after that, a 4 pill and a 16 pill. So I think that's the, the, the lineup, if I remember right. And we got Captain Crunch's 8 pill, which is going to be in that cabinet there, that there. Coming up to so, all right, let me get on off here, man. Well, it went a little bit longer than I anticipated, and I just noticed that it's crooked. <laughs> Maybe it didn't make the video look that bad. All right, we're gone. 73, and God bless y'all. Shoot me a text if you need anything. If you've never got a price list, shoot me a text and ask for a price list. No gatekeeper. I'm good and gone. Bye-bye-bye.